my ex and I met in college. She was the most beautiful girls I had ever seen. She always had a crowd of guys following her around. I had some classes with her over the four years but I never pursued her because, well, all the other guys. One day after class, she asked if I would study with her and the rest is history. So we married, starting our careers in the same industry, different companies. A male-dominated industry. I found immediate success while she struggled. She changed jobs in the first year. She continued to struggle. In the third year she became pregnant with our first son. She worked through the pregnancy. A few weeks after giving birth, in a routine physical, her doctor asked to do a biopsy of her cervix. The results came back as precancerous cells were found. The doctor advised if we wanted more children to do it as quick as possible as this will progress and a hysterectomy will be needed eventually. So when she was up to it she became pregnant again. She gave birth again to a boy within a year of each other. Afterward more tests were done and different DRS advised to do the procedure now as we should not wait. With two babies, still infants she had her procedure done. She was heartbroken that she was done having children as we had wanted a large family. She poured herself into being a great mother and she was. She became a psalm. She took care of everything at home. Meanwhile, my career was moving along. I was offered a position with another company with a large salary bump. Life is good. When the boys went off to school she volunteered at school and was a fixture there. I should mention that we had close friends we went to school with. I and B we saw each other often. They started their family about the time we did. They have one son. The families went on vacations together, dinner, outings we were best of friends. After the son was born of the mother, went back to work and is very successful. He had a good job also until about 2001 where his job was eliminated. He struggled to find work in his field as the economy back then really affected his field. So the decision was he would be a SAHD while looking for work where we lived, as they did not want to move. The ex and B did things together with kids. When the kids were all in school they still hung out. You can now guess they had an affair. This story I know is long but not over. After about a year of this, hot sex in the um, B asked ex if she and I had ever talked about a threesome. It was all fantasy talk with us as we were still having a great if not slowing down sexual relationship. B had a friend he wanted to bring into the bedroom with them. The ex agreed. The day came and this guy came over to B's house. He took his suit off his ex and B got warmed up. So they had their threesome. Afterward the guy told them that he usually had to pay for sex so he left a couple hundred dollar bills and asked ex if he could have a one-one with ex. She told him she needed to think about that and B would get back to him. Eventually C recommended someone else and a business was born. Eventually, B was re-employed and had to leave ex on her own. She used a different cell phone. She rented out a storage unit and made it her closet, office. She used the money to buy outfits her clientele requested. She even bought a car. She did not want her minivan spotted at a hotel. The guys had to pay for a room at a nice hotel. She kept the car at the storage unit. Everything was in cash. She never brought the money into our lives that I know of. Though we would send the kids to different day camps during summer. She claimed she tightened up our budget to pay for it. She only worked during school hours. She always picked the boys up at school. On a few rare occasions B would pick them up and keep them until she got home. Our home life never suffered. I admit I was working a ton and moving up the ladder. The weekends were our family time. Sex was generally on the weekends, I thought because of my work life this worked best. Most nights we would cuddle on the couch watching TV. Almost done, 2016 comes along we have one son in college the other a senior in HS. I get a call from BX is in the hospital. He was vague but said she is hurt bad. I rush to the hospital my wife is hooked to a bunch of machines. They have already cleaned her up and taken her for x-rays. She has a broken jaw, broken nose, fractured orbital bone, possible concussion. She will make it but will be a long road ahead. A police officer was finishing up and left. I of course want to know what happened. She was crying talking gibberish through her sobs and pain meds. A nurse said I should let her rest. They were moving her to a room soon. She handed me a bag with her clothes. I looked in and asked if these were hers because she never wears heels and the dress was unfamiliar. The nurse said this is what they brought from the hotel room. So they pushed me out of the room. I called my sons to let them know. Later that night, when the fog of the drugs were wearing off I got some of the story. She drifted off again. I had my youngest son sit in with her and I called B why did he call me? How did he know before me? What's going on? So B came clean about what my wife was up to, leaving out the affair and his involvement. I was devastated. We eventually get her home after surgery on her jaw. The nose would wait. She convalesced at home. As she got stronger I got the whole story. I called her and told of the affair and B is a pimp. She threw B out. As she got on her feet, I told her we were done. I asked her to move out. She moved in with B. I got the divorce rolling. I am sitting here five years divorced. I still love her. It is as if she had died. The grief is unbearable. My boys know what she did. I have not spoken to her since she left. 